Hello everybody, my name is Wachara, and this is City Game Studio, another episode of my Let's Play. Currently working on upgrading, updating, I guess I should say, my game engine, my personal game engine. And we're doing a contract work here, and once that's done, we're going to start a new game. Maybe even two new games, probably just one though. Um, but we want, the, we want the engine done for that. And contract work is done. So we gained two tips in physics, which is good. Maybe I'll have to try Crook-like soon. And we're just, I'm just going to wait for the engine to be up to date, and it is. All right, Don gets another raise. That is fine with me. So, now, new game. We're going to do it in all three studios, probably. Yeah, let's use all three studios so we can make it quick. Because I'm going to do normal size. Now, it says requires 10k fans to boost sales, but somebody mentioned in the comments that I should make a normal size game anyway, so I need to have a rating of 90% to be successful. I should make the game slightly smarter to sell it better. Now, the tooltip <laughs> disagrees with the comment, but I am I think the commenter might be right. We'll find out. Um, one way or another, I'm going to find out. Uh, so this might go poorly, but I think I'm going to do an RPG since we're really good at making RPGs, right? Just to kind of play it safe. But I have enough money in the bank that I think I'll be okay, even if this isn't amazing. Ooh, mythology is popular right now, but I mean, I already have a mythology RPG out right now, right? Like Olympus versus Valhalla is still on the market, I believe. Oh, it's not. It's not, okay. So that means I can make that game. Okay, even better. <laughs> Create a sequel. The Hollow vs. Olympus 3, normal. Mythology RPG. Um, all three studios. Okay. Um, Blender. Yes. Producer. Accountant. Uh, marketing manager. Let's go. All right, so we need 658 points to make this be quote unquote good. I think I can hit that. Certainly hope so. I think I can because it's an RPG, right? Because we have most of the tips pretty much locked in for that. All right. Um, oh, story goes right there. So everything looks good here. Making it for the GES. So, oh, we got 3D graphics, 8-bit colors, but it takes up two compute points instead of one. We're running out of compute capabilities and we need to include sound. Um, but if we do, so if we do this, sound will take up one. And then the, I forget what it's called, but the thing that's one compute, one graphics, probably for the last point, I'm going to say, yeah, let's try this. Let's announce it. Um, just going to publish a demo since both of those things are more expensive than normal. I'm assuming because this is a normal size game and not an indie. Spontaneous job application. Yes, you're hired, Sam. Um, Gemcon 20. Yes, let's attend. Yeah, I thought I was set to automatically attend. Okay, what's going on? Marketing manager, market research. Uh, maybe I do I need to hire another marketing manager? That's about how it looks. Uh, so let's go to Elamim where we have space. Assign this unassigned person. And let's see if I can hire another marketing manager here. Plus 44%. No, that's the one I already have. Sorry. <laughs> marketing manager. Ooh, plus 80%. You're hired. And two game capacity. So you can work over here. All right. So how do I do the market research now? Where was that at again? Market research. Marketing manager is required. LED. So please set the game genres. Targeted audiences to analyze. Select all. Platform. Yes. Why won't it let me? Oh, I've already studied it, apparently. Market research type. Wait, so what's the type? Oh, it's themes or genres. Okay. Analyze target audience. 
Oh, wow, this costs 840000 Whatever, YOLO, I guess. <laughs> I'll, we'll see how smart that was in the long run, but that's a lot of money, <laughs> right? For market research, I feel. But, I mean, maybe it's valuable. I don't know. Okay, so GS and Young is excellent. GS and everybody is excellent. Mature is only good. Beat em ups are excellent. Crook like in dungeons are only good. RPG and sports are excellent. Strategy is poor. So let's not make strategy for the GES. All right, so that don't that does tell us a lot. That does tell us a lot. So that's good. I'm okay with that. Pirates is off the market. Made a cool 1.72 million though. Um the platform and everybody, whatever platform this is, is only this mediocre. So, yeah, I don't know about this GES. I, it's got such big market share, but I want to make games with with bigger points, right? Um, basic, okay, so let's take out off passer base saves. Okay, so that, that would be 6-6 six six if I do that, though, man. Or this would be 6-6. Six six. Yeah, I, I need more compute capabilities. I'm sorry, GES. And I need I want to save a point. For the thing in the next screen that will let me use my graphic capabilities up and i don't know like are these features are some of them more important for rpgs like i haven't seen anything telling me that yet one way or the other but i mean i would assume that it would but that's me making an assumption and those are dangerous all right so yeah so simple animation that brings us up to six six Oh, when you put in simple cinematics, so we're using the full capabilities right now. Holy crap, Sandbox uses a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, slider-wise, this game should be good, right? We got those sliders locked in pretty well. This is not much hype, though. Oh, our hype just went down. Why did our hype go down? Did I announce it too early? Maybe? I wonder. Yeah, I did not know that it was possible to announce it too early. My God, this cost me like a million dollars. <laughs> or it's going to. Oh my God, the hype went down again. Yeah, I announced it too early. Okay, so normal size games don't announce them as early. Ooh, $20. Oh, I definitely got the points that I needed though. <laughs> um. Wow, okay. Oh, plus 40 is honor points as well. Because I'm pretty sure indie games only give us 18. Right? We will see. We'll see what happens. Now, ooh, 96, 90, 90, 83. So on average, it's like 89 point something. And the tooltip said I need it to be 90 or higher. And I'm 89 point. 89.75? I don't know. It's 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 close. It's 89 point something at any rate. Just doing quick math anyway, which could be wrong. Oh man. <laughs> oh my god, a lot of people get raises. Oh, including some significant raises. Like plus 25%. Uh, man, if I had had a job in real life that I got a plus 25% raise, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be trying YouTube right now. Uh, speaking of which, hit that like button if you're enjoying this video and or this series in general. Postmortem. User interface is relatively important. Tutorial is relatively important. Sales report. Ooh, okay, okay, good. Um, since we can see good sales, I did some calculations and today we're going to take out, talk about sales of Valhalla versus Olympus 4. Today's a great day. Valhalla versus Olympus 4 should see a 61% bonus. That is good. Oh, wait, it's already profitable? <laughs> okay, so apparently I should have been making normal games all along. So the commenter was correct. It's already 2 million profitable. <laughs> um, but we're going to need a lot of people. If we're going to be doing that. All right, so what about contracts? We want to bang through some contracts really quick. Yeah, let's just bang through all four of these contracts. Um, so yeah, three studios. It'll, it'll be so fast with all three studios working on it, right? 
but it'll get us some tips, get us a gameplay tip and two story tips. I'm gonna assume for management story is probably not very important. <laughs> of course, I say that and they keep it's gonna keep adding contracts. I have a feeling that if I if I let it, I could probably just do contracts forever. All right, discontinued platform, Skylight 1.0. Platform released, Skypoint, Skylight 2.0. <laughs> that works, that's fair. All right, so we get some sports tips. Oh, wow, three sports tips. Nice. That will help my next sports game be better. Yeah. It's, um, all right, so what am I going to make next? Right? Uh beat them up all right so let's do these beat them up contracts and then we'll make a beat them up two tips there and beat them up down here yes this will be another really quick one get us some good tips hopefully probably just one tip it was pretty small yeah tutorial tip it's funny like i'm really good with the animation and artwork not so much optimization and tutorial all right, we can upgrade our computers again. All right, it is time. Playing a video game is awesome. However, playing with your friends is even better. You need to manage the network for your games. You have a new development gauge on creating a game. Publish updates and create new content for your games. Free updates or paid updates? It is up to you. Okay. Give myself a raise. How do I do updates? Uh, I would have expected it to be here. It is not, so, hmm. How do I make an update? Um, hmm. I don't know. I, personal publishing, self-publishing, uh, new IP, is there, no, there's no update option. So I need 25 employees for big, one producer. I have a producer. I need 10K fans to boost sales. How many fans am I at now? I'm over or 20. I'm over 10K. Um, I don't know. Oh, wait. Click here to update your games. There we go. Publish an update. Free update. Um, so the game price will stay the same. Players' expectations of updates, select all. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, well, let's, let's see what happens. See how long? Oh, it's not going to take long, at least. Right? And at some point, I should probably, like, start dividing my teams up. But I'm going to make, I'm going to make a beat em up here. Normal size. Beat em up. Um, what works for beat em up? Fantasy beat em up? Yeah. I mean, military beat em up? Ninja beat em up? If I'm going to do this, I should do sequel, right? To Ninja Master? Yeah, let's just do Ninja Master. All right, so let's take a look here. What do we have other than the GES? I want something with more compute. The Mega System has much more compute, but it also has a fifth <laughs> of the market share, roughly. Right? And then if we go down, it's even worse market share. So it's either GES or the Mega System. And I don't I don't even have the, the license for this at the moment. Oh my god, I just feel like I'm missing out on so much stuff with the six compute capabilities. And I mean, the Commander 64 has decent market share, but it's like, <laughs> it is even worse <laughs> compute capabilities. The Watagi has even more, but it's got half, less than half the market share of the Mega System. And I could call them to negotiate, I guess. Right? Couldn't hurt. I want to publish games. You would be delighted to work with me. You wonder what my company can bring. All right, so let's offer 140,000. Sounds like a fair proposal. We have a deal. Thank you for your time. All right, so let's put a beat em up on the mega system. Let's try it. Although, hmm, no, you know what? I'm going to go back to the GES. 
I want to do market research to see what works on the uh, on the mega system. You know what I mean? Uh, marketing manager. Oh yeah, we have two marketing managers. But I want LED. I kind of want LED to also be doing market research, but I guess I could take the other person off. All right, so yeah, let's do this. We don't want to announce it too early. Where was market research at again? Market research, marketing manager, Ella, um, for the mega system. Select all, analyze target audience. $2 million. Holy crap, that's expensive. That is really. I don't know. I feel like that's a lot. Um, I feel like basic dialogue wouldn't be important in a beat em up. Let's go with better graphics instead. Basically, we're going to do roughly the same thing we did last time. We have no idea where some of these ladders are supposed to go. <laughs> this might be a pretty mediocre game based off how much slider information I have. But I am not going to, not going to announce the game yet because we announced it early last time. Right, so I'm gonna wait until we're in the development phase. Maybe, uh, anyway, that's what I'm gonna try. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see if it's smart. All right, so is market research done? Competitor is using my game engine, cool. Um, not yet. Uh, market research will be here. Or wait, are they still? No, she says. Okay, well, how do I see the report? All right, um, here it is. Okay, so, ooh, excellent. It's excellent match for mature. Young and everybody are good. Beat em up is good. Hack and slash is excellent. Simulation is excellent. So maybe we try hack and slash or simulation for the, like a, a mature. How about a mature hack and slash? We're going to try a mature hack and slash for the manga system. After this, obviously. Oh, it just <laughs> it popped it up for me right after I'd already looked at it. That's kind of weird that it was available before it popped it up. All right, so some of these sliders we have in good spots. Our workload is way too heavy. So let's bring this down. That's where base saves. Well, let's go basic physics instead. I just feel like for a beat em up, that seems like it'd be more important. I mean, I don't know, but we know where we know where AI needs to go. <laughs> All right, now we'll announce it. Publish a demo. Yeah, Valhalla versus Olympus, and we get way more fans as well, right? All right, so what's this meter? Game update hype. Posting a free update will boost sales of a game. A paid update will generate revenue relative to the number of copies sold of the original game. Okay. Um, so let's turn on simple cinematics, and that gets us to max compute capabilities. So a couple of these sliders, we know exactly where they go. <laughs> but a couple of them, we don't really know. <laughs> but... My next beat em up will be even better because we will know for that somewhat, right? All right, another spontaneous job application. You're hired. Ninja Master 2 was announced. Let's go to LME. Sign that new employee. Perfect. All right, so this game should be good, I think. Yeah, get some hype from this. From Gemcon. I will say this for this game. The and maybe it's because I'm not doing it right, but it seems like time goes faster in this game than Mega Games Tycoon 2. And actually I'm kind of proud of myself for how much I talk about Mega Games Tycoon 2. I thought I'd talk about it even more. <laughs> I've done a pretty good job of not constantly talking about it, I feel. Alright, so this is done. So let's release it. $20, yep. Oh yeah, we got the points easily. 
Got 40 more genre points, which is good as well. Yeah, I should probably unlock more genres soon. That'll probably be next episode. For now, we're going to do a mature hack and slash for the mega system. And 98, 98, 96, 84. Fan game, you suck, but you officially suck. But I mean, on average, this is over 90, I'm pretty sure. Oh, easily. Well over 90 on average. Right? Because I mean, 96 and 84 is a 90 average. And you had two 98s. Gameplay was weak, apparently. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you there. Oh my God, more races. All right, well, hopefully this sells well. Okay, post-mortem. Oh, I can create my own video game console. Pick parts, assemble the console, and get ready for the marketing campaign. To maximize the benefit, considering hiring a marketing manager and an accountant. I already have those. We have a small community built around Ninja Master 2. Oh, God, we just released the game. I mean, I will do it. Um, <laughs> but... I mean, we just released it. Oh my God, it's made $7 million in profits in one week. That is insane. Um, all right, so let's do an update for Super Chef really quickly. This was only an indie game, so it should be really quick. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and let's do an update for Valhalla vs. Olympus again. I do like the way they do the update hype. I think that makes a ton of sense. Close. Okay. It is time to make your games known through television ads. Allows organizing television advertising campaigns. It's expensive, but to who doesn't watch television these days? In 1988 or 1989, pretty sure everybody watched television. <laughs> All right, so that update is done. Um, yeah, let's throw an update at Ninja Master as well, since it's, you know, made me $20 million already, which is absolutely insane. Let's keep that going strong. And now let us make a new game. A new IP, normal, Blender Studio, three studios, hack and slash, or the Mega System. Oh yeah, the the Inception is, it's chewing into Mega System's market share. Boo. So hack and slash, um, fantasy. No. Um, what works for a hack slash horror? No, it doesn't apparently. Spy, religious, <laughs> superhero. Superhero should work. We call this hero smash or hero slash. There we go. Very imaginative name. <laughs> uh, accountant. Take you off Super Chef. Keep you on Ninja Master, though. Um, yeah. Mega System. Yeah, we got a lot of compute capabilities to work with here, which will be good. But we don't want to we don't want to hype it too early. All right, I've lived up to my fans' expectations by putting out the update. Positive enthusiasm, which is going to impact the sales. The sales are already ridiculously good, but I'll take it, <laughs> obviously. All right, so we'll go with the best graphics. And yeah, let's just put everything in here because we got 13 compute capabilities to play with. We you know we have a pretty good idea where most of these sliders go, not so much the UI, but I'm okay with where it's at. I think that'll be fine. Oh, I didn't turn it. Hmm. This was supposed to be mature. I made it for everybody instead. All right, your success allows you to build your own studio. Okay, allows well, building new studios. It's expensive. It's one of the only ways to keep growing without limit. In addition to being able to build studios, you can also build conference centers, which is necessary to organize conferences, construct universities to train staff. They're going to reach perfection. All right. So now I feel like I'm getting into this the game's depth really for, for true, right? All right, so actually let's generate hype. Let's run an advertising campaign. It's like almost a million dollars, but I think that's fine. Medieval Times is off the market. Hey, gained a thousand fans and $2 million for that one. Um, oh, another spontaneous job application. The Hand Boy has been released. The Sphinx is upcoming. The Hand Boy is probably gonna be pretty good. Market share wise, 
but probably pretty mediocre um, compute power wise. Yeah, oh, well, nine compute, only one great graphics, but nine compute's pretty good. All right, I want, I want to publish games on the handboy. I'm surprised I can't make, like, I'm surprised everything needs to be exclusive. Let's offer a million instead. Fair proposal. We have a deal. I'm just throwing around a million dollars like it's nothing <laughs> at this point. Which is kind of funny. All right. There we go. And I'm not even sure how much that cost me. I'm sure it wasn't cheap. Hopefully this gets lots of hype. Yeah, I feel like... Like, I have the money now. I could get multiple extra studios, right? And maybe that's what I should be doing. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm very, I'm very gun shy about overextending, right? Or do I want to turn all this on? Because I would like, like if I don't, if I turn these off, I could go open world. No, open world just takes up too much. Oh, workload is way too high. It's going to negatively affect the game. There we go. That's better. That's much, much better. Yeah, Ninja Master. Kind of crazy. All right, so Handboy and Young is excellent. Everybody's good. Mature is poor. Beat em ups, crook legs, dungeons, all excellent. Ooh, a lot of the things are poor, though. So crook like dungeon and beat em up are where it's at for the Handboy. Will I remember that when the time comes? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Super Chef's off the market. Did okay. Yeah, I'm kind of upset with myself that I screwed up and made this um, for everybody and not mature. Can I change it? All right, so we got three. Oh, you know what? We go boom, boom, boom. Look at that. 13 of 13 and 3 of 3. Basically, we have everything except open world and sandbox. I think that's pretty good. I think this will be a solid game. Very least. I wish ah, I don't think I can change it now to everybody. Oh well. It is what it is. Not the end of the world. I only have three games in, Oh, because the games take so much longer to make now. That makes sense. There's a logic there. Oh my god, look how many view more visitors we get now. Holy crap. Okay. And that, folks, is gonna be all for this episode. What kind of review score are we gonna get for Hero Slash, do we think? Is the mega system Worth it. What kind of sales are we going to get with the much smaller market share? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.